What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another quick episode of Breeders Hack. So today, we're going to be talking about pre-breeding treatment. I get this question all the time. What do I give my dogs um, leading up into a breeding? You know, um, should you give your dogs anything before breeding? You know, how to flush them out, things like that. Um, so let's get right to it. <laughs> What's going on, Bully Fan? Um, I get this question all the time. People asking me, you know, what can I give to flush out my female so that I have a higher success rate when it comes to her pregnancy? You know, what do you do to flush them out? Um, you know, as like a pre-breeding treatment, things like that. So this is what I've been doing and what I find that works, you know. Um, so I'll just, I'll just get right to it. This is gonna probably be a quick episode. So anyway, um, when it comes to pre-breeding treatment, Essentially, what you're looking for is to try to flush out the female of any bacterias, you know, things like that that the female may be having going on that essentially can affect her pregnancy, can also affect her being pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So some of the things that you also want to look for is, um, and, I, and I mind you guys, right? What you can do to avoid having to do all this kind of in general um, I haven't really done this like that, but what you can do is go get a pre, uh, a pre-breeding culture, you know, where you'll go to the vet, they'll take a culture and look at if there's any bacteria in there and give you the proper antibiotics to combat whatever bacteria is in there. Because for the most part, say I get people who just try to give Clavamox to flush them out or just try to give them Cephalexin to flush them out. And those antibiotics might not attack the proper bacteria that's inside the female and they still don't have any success. So you can always get a culture and i think that might be one of the you know the top things to do um especially if you're a female that's pretty tricky with getting um you know pregnant um i would do that you know or she like tends to get the utis whatever the case may be when it comes to breeding time i would definitely get a pre-breeding culture you know and see what's going on um there's other things that can be involved too like with their progesterone levels not going high enough and whatnot but for the most part, let's just assume do the pre-breeding culture and um, that'll, you know, that'll tell you what's going on. Now, what I do, I don't really do the pre-breeding cultures. I just do, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, I do a standard, uh, what's good? Still a glove. Ah, it's all good. So we'll, we'll keep that in the video. Keep it all <laughs> authentic. <laughs> Long story short, we just do this across the board anyway. So here's the things that you can use. And this is what I found for years that's been really the most successful so um what i'll do is first i'll give them like a soup uh let's start with the clavamox make it easier so what i'll start with is like a clavamox i don't really like using cephalexin i'll probably start with like a clavamox and i hit them with clavamox for about you know five to seven days right when you see them going to heat is when i start giving it to them you don't really want them on this when you do your breeding so if you catch it right when they go into heat you'll be good money um by the time you're ready to breed um that everything should be flushed out and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'll give them Clavamox, you know, depending, that's all gonna go based off of the dog's weight. Off the top of my head, I think it's like six milligrams per pound of weight or something like that. Don't quote me on it. You guys can look that up online. Um, but that's a, what I give. We give uh, Clavamox, and that's for, like I said, five to seven days. And just to backtrack, since I'm getting into the meds, guys, as you know, I'm not a vet. So this is just what we do here. You know, anything that you have questions about, you may question here, anything like that, you know, definitely take it up with your vet. This is just what we do here, you know? So like I said, Clavamox, five to seven days. That's what we do as a pre-breeding treatment. Then the next thing that I'll do with, in, in, in conjunction with the Clavamox is I'll give Baytro. Um, I like the Baytro because of the fact that, can you grab the bowl from the puppies? Thank you. Um, <laughs> I like, using bay trail it's a it's the clavamox is already a, a general wide spectrum um antibiotic but the bay trail really kind of gets everything and what i use is enroflaxin which is um a generic version of bay trail um but bay trail is just a brand name when people ask for bay trail it's just a brand name it's like it's like tylenol and advil you know what i'm saying yeah. they're both essentially the same drug um 
I think they're the same drug. But you get where I'm going with it. There's a CVS yeah. brand and then there's a name brand, you know? Brand, yeah. But it's the same drug. So same thing for Betro. I use Enroflaxin. Um, I find it that uh, it's it's cheaper and as well as um, you get more for what you're paying. So anyway, Enroflaxin. Um, so that's what I use, which is generic Betro. Um, what I do is I give this to them uh, and it's about one cc treats and then th this is just for the this is just for the Betro that I use, but one cc treats 100 pounds. So, you know, you figure 0 0.5 treats um, 50 pounds, 0 0.25 would treat, you know, 25 pounds, so on and so forth. So, like I said, it's, it's for, um, you know, bulls. So you have to be mindful. A very small amount would be for dogs, you know. Keep that in mind. Don't go crazy with this. So, with that being said, I do this for five to seven days with the um, Clavamox. And, um, you know, that really kind of flushes everything, everything out. You know, I, like I said, with, I've been doing this and I haven't had any issues really when it comes to uh, breeding. All the females been getting pregnant. Um, we have successful litters, things like that. It's been working very well as a success, as a successful pre-breeding treatment. Um, another thing that you can use, because sometimes like maybe I don't have any um, Betro. Then what I could also use is um, the green juice cure. If you guys seen episodes about this prior, then you know I like using this stuff. It can also, if you, if you ask me, I think there is some bait trail in here, but I don't know what the whole spiel is, but this is what I use yet again. Hey, you know what? I'm not your vet. This is what I do. So if I don't have bait trail, I'll use the green juice cure in, in replacement of the bait trail. I won't use both together. No, just one or the other. I prefer the bait trail to be honest, but this can also be used um, as a pre-breeding treatment. And then the last thing, so, so that's our like wide spectrum of antibiotics that will, you know, attack most um, bacteria, you know, um, I have yet to, like I said, we've been doing this. I have yet to see a bacteria um, still come through after doing this. Like I said, both for five to seven days. The next thing I'll do is um, I'll use Dontro, right? So, I, and I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'll put the name somewhere here, Dontro. Now, this is going to be your dewormer. So, and this is new to me. I didn't even, like, I didn't even know this, that Dontro is actually like, the, the 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 best dewormer you can use, and the reason being is because I always used fendibendazole and pyrantal pomade. I would use like pyrantal pomade for puppies and fendibendazole when um they were six weeks and older. Now what I found about Dontro that's amazing is the fact that it has um both in it, you know, which which both attack different uh differently, both attack differently. So combined in one is amazing. So not only does it have the pyrantal pomate, not only does it have the fendibendazole, I'm gonna have to read it because I forget the name. Uh, it also contains parasequential, I believe I'm pronouncing that cor correctly. Um, if not, hey, sorry, but um, yeah. It also has parasequential, which is also known, I, I did some research on it, and it's also known as an anti-parasitic. So you're getting like the three most common and strongest anti-parasitic um, medications thrown into one. So I'll give this to the female, completely flushes her out of, you know, the parasites, the dewormer, things like that. And I mean, that's really it, guys, you know? So she'll get this. I'll probably start, when, when she first comes into heat the first day, I'll probably start her on this, and then the rest, you know, she gets the rest for the five to seven days. So don't mind the puppies, they're fighting. Not fighting, but they're playing around. Um, I'll probably show you guys later. But anyway, guys, so I think that was pretty much it. You know, five to seven days, you know, do your progesterones. Um, she'll, she should be nice and flushed out. You can also do a pre-breeding culture if you want to be really sure, especially if you had a female that's had a lot of issues beforehand. But this is just what we do. I just wanted to share that with you guys. This dewormer, I love it. Like I said, this is new. And, and like I said, I, I love this stuff, you know. Um, I'll put a link in the description as to where you can get the dewormer, um, where you can get, you know, the, um, the Batron, stuff like that at. But um, yeah, like I said, this this dewormer is great. I absolutely love it. This is what I'm gonna be using across the board. This is, this is what I use for all the dogs now um, because like I said, it has all three compounds in it. Um, I, I'm probably gonna do an episode just on this alone, to be honest. Um, and you can give it to the puppies as early, I think it's at like three weeks, something like that. You know, and, it's, and what I love is it's one pill versus um, before I was using this. I was using this, which was a, uh, a powder. You know, and you got to give it the fendibendazole. You got to give it three days in a row. 
So, man, like, this is way better. You give it one day and that's it. And if they do have the worms in it, you'll, you'll see it right in their stool within, like, 48 hours or something. So, this is great. You deworm them. Hit them with a wide spectrum of antibiotics. If you don't have Clavamox, you, you could try Cephalexin. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much our pre-breeding treatment to make sure the females is nice and flushed out and um, ready to, you know, to go when it comes breeding time. So I hope this information was helpful. Hopefully it was useful. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Breeders Hacks.